What's going on guys? Extra rounds here. And what I got for you guys today is I bought these two items from Optics Planet probably about like three weeks ago or, or so. And uh, they've just been sitting uh, in my garage and I haven't really gotten to it. Uh, by the uh, title of the video, you'll probably already know what it is. But what I bought was I bought the Hera CQR front grip and the Hera CQR black uh, AR-15 uh, thumb hole stock basically. Uh, if you see in the movie uh, The Tomorrow Wars, these are both used in the rifle that they are, uh, that they take into the future. So uh, a few things about uh, this uh, this stock set is that it's supposed to be used on like an SBR mainly. Uh, the the butt stock you can put this on any any rifle. You know this this doesn't really doesn't really need to be a SBR. It was the uh, front grip that mainly, as you can see in the picture. Let me see. Yeah, in the picture, it's supposed to go right up against or a little bit forward of the uh, magwell and be a very compact package. Now I am putting it on my 16 inch. Uh, aero precision rifle well it's kind of like a mutt rifle because it has a bunch of random stuff on it but it's a it bones are aero precision uh i'm going to be taking off the stock and the pistol grip because it's going to replace both of these and the vertical grip uh the we're we'll see about that in a minute because one of the things that i was reading was that the uh, picatinny or the slots in here on the front uh, front grip don't play well with a uh, mag pull Picatinny rails for some reason. Uh, let's go ahead and get these unboxed and we'll, we'll, we'll unbox this one first. So this is the box that comes in. Has a nice picture there. Shows all the other colors that comes in. Comes in OD and uh, Flat Dark Earth or Tan, one of the two. Made in Germany, Hera Arms Industries. We got the black one to go with the black rifle. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Nothing else in there. So it just comes with the grip and this is what you got right here now the grip is kind of cool because it's kind of like an angled grip vertical grip any type of grip i saw some people shooting it like this i'm using my right hand but i'm left-handed but you won't be able to see what it's actually doing so just like this so it's almost like an angled grip almost like a vertical grip i've seen people put their fingers right here and just like run their hand up on the rail kind of almost like a half c clamp i saw some people actually put their hand through here right now it's uncomfortable because i'm not on the rifle but and put the rest of their hand up on the rifle uh, i have seen some if they uh, put it on the longer ar-15 actually bed it down with a bipod and everything and hold it kind of just like this and, uh, you know, obviously this other hand is on the buttstock, so we'll get to the buttstock in a minute, but that's the front grip. Comes with two cutie mounts on either side. Has a sling mount on the bottom. It's kind of weird, little diamond shape looking thing. Uh, don't exactly know what that would do. This part right here, um, if you search online pictures of this stop set, this actually comes off because in the pictures online, it's actually ran with a Magpul D60, and this part is butt up against the Magwell. You see this little cutout right here? That's actually supposed to be for the front takedown pin. And uh, it's just supposed to sit right in there, and then this is supposed to be able to accept the uh, D60. Uh, I'm not going to be running it all the way back, not only because my light and everything is up more forward. Uh, I'm going to move you guys in a little bit more so you guys can see in a minute, but also the mounting screws for the actual rail is right there, as you can see. So this wouldn't even be able to be all the way back because all this would be in the way. So let's go ahead and get to the buttstock and uh, I'll tell you more about that. So we'll put this down. Oh, also this is going to be kind of a long video. So you're going to have to skip around to the different parts that you want to see. So same thing. We got the box. Got the different ones. We got the black, of course. Let's go ahead and open it up. Have your little accessory pack with uh, screws, the QD mounts, and uh, the cover for the pistol grip. You have the stock, and you have a manual. Drop this. Has the big has the manual. It just shows. You know all the literature how it goes on there uh, how to put the screw in for the pistol grip because it goes in kind of at an angle it's going to be kind of weird but we'll get through it it basically shows you how to actually put it on 
because you see how the spring with the detent goes in the side of this pistol grip right there, right there, instead of uh, up in, in the bottom. So that's what comes with it. Couple of things with the stock itself it has sling loops right here and right here, both on, on each side. It has the QD mounts, which are in the accessory pack, which we're, we're gonna have to put on once we actually put it on the actual uh, rifle. It comes installed with a 15 millimeter spacer. That's one of the things with this uh, buttstock in general. It is not, uh, how do you say, uh, collapsible or adjustable at all you need to get spacers to put in here to actually space it out they come with they have a 15 a 30 and i've seen a third uh 45 but it only comes with the 15 so that makes this thing kind of short coming right out of the box i think i've seen them on amazon you could get them but yeah, this one doesn't come, it only comes with the 115. I think that for the price of this, which uh, you could go ahead and look on uh, on uh, Op Optics Planet, I think I got this for $100. This alone is 100 I think that was $39.99. You would think that they would come with at least one more 15 spacer or like a 30 and a 15, but that's not the case here. We got a rubberized butt stock. Uh, there's the screws that you would take it apart just in case if you wanted to put a space another spacer or two on them uh, up forward a little bit we got this little area and I'll go ahead and take that off for you this put that here is actually a Picatinny rail okay and what that's for is if you want to put this on a longer gun you guys should put a monopod right here or if there's like another accessory that you would want to put here I don't know, for shits and giggles, you could do that too. Uh, for our uh, things, we are not going to do that. We are just simply just going to put this on and put the front grip on kind of in the same spot where the vertical grip is. But we're going to have to change it to a longer Magpul uh, Picatinny rail, which, like I just said, they say that these do not play nice with them. So here we go. I got this longer one right here. And this one is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is an 11 slot Magpul piece. And as you can see where those screws are, it's going to fit just fine with the 11. Okay. Uh, or I think this is the uh, 7 inch rail. But when you start putting it in the front, and don't mind that it's painted because once I put this on here, I'm actually going to put it on here like this. That painted piece is probably going to be mostly, uh, or I'll, yeah, I'll put it this way. It's going to be mostly covered. So I don't really, I'm not really worried about it. But when you start putting it on, you can't really see it on camera. But as you're putting it on, uh, number one, it's hard. Uh, so, I mean, we might just have to, like, gorilla this thing on here, which is going to be crazy going all the way across. But if it's too hard, then I'll abandon ship and see about any other options I could do because I do have a couple other Picatinny rails, but I'm going to have to do that on my own time. I'm just trying to get this video out to show the Hera CQR uh, front grip and stock because there's not a lot of videos about them. So let's go ahead and uh, start with putting the butt stock on first. So let's, let me bring you in here. Now, number one. Uh, you're going to need a, a back plate that is the mil spec one with nothing here. Me, I had a Bravo, I had a Bravo Company QD mount right here, and that's not going to work because when you put this on here, right here, this bit uh, with that line right here uh, is going to nail nail right into it. So it's not going to it's not going to go on. It's, there's going to be a little space. Also, you are going to need a mil spec buffer tube. A lot of people let me take this off. A lot of people already have the mil spec buffer tube, but there are still a couple, oh, not that one, a couple ARs with uh, commercial ones. Like my Bushmaster that I bought years ago came with a commercial buffer tube, but this arrow is obviously going to come with a mil spec one. So that's what you're going to need. So mil spec buffer tube and basically a mil spec back plate. And that's what's going to be your baby right there. So we remove the stock. We're going to need to go ahead and remove the pistol grip. So in order to do that, I am going to break down the rifle because we do not need the upper right now. Go. <clears throat> Put that down. 
and I'm gonna close the pins. Here. I was oiling that up prior to this video, so after I took off the BCM QD. Okay, so we got that in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the Magpul thing there. I'm gonna walk over here, get an Allen wrench. Right inside, a little T-handle Allen wrench. Helps out a lot. Okay. Mind your spring and detent when you're taking this off because, I mean, the detent is not really that big of a problem. It's more the, uh, it's more the spring because the spring might come out with the pistol grip and then you might drop it on the ground. Okay, so here we go. Got it. And then really I should be, okay. I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the screw in there and I'm just gonna, oh, that's not, got a little maraca right there. And we got the detent. I think I'm, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that detent out. Okay, put that in there. I'm also gonna probably wipe that detent down a little bit uh, so that it's not, not all grimy from all the oil that's been in here. And we're gonna slide the stock on in a minute. This is all pretty straightforward. It's not too hard. I think the hardest part of this project is gonna be getting that front grip on the front of the rail because that thing, I don't know about it. So when you're putting this on, let me make sure you're good. Back you up just a tiny bit. Do this a little bit more. Okay, I got it upside down. Now, when they say you're when you're putting this on, you can loosen up this screw and this screw because it might get halfway and be a little tight. So you could either do it on this side or you could do it on this side. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So let me go ahead and try to put it on and see what we got working for us. It is a little tight. And then make sure that the front of where the pistol grip channel is is you're lined up because it might hang up on that a little bit. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Sorry for all the noise. I got all my stuff on the table. Okay. So we are right up on it. All right. And what we're going to do first is we're gonna get that we're gonna get that detent and uh, spring right up in there. We're gonna do that first. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, so you can see. Okay, sorry, all the wobbling. So we got the detent right there. I'm gonna try to drop that sucker in there. Oh, of course I put it in upside down. That's a good start. We'll get some tweezers to get that out of there. Or I might have to turn the rifle upside down and get it out of there. Okay, got it out. Maybe I'll use the little needle nose to actually put it in there. Okay, got that in there. Where is my block? I'm just gonna take all this stuff out. So this is the little little rubber rubber block piece that is actually gonna be holding all the stuff in. Let me check the directions real quick and make sure that uh, I'm putting it in the right orientation. Okay, so what you're basically gonna do is, you're gonna put it in, where am I at? You're gonna put it in like this, just like that, and then while you're putting it in, you're gonna leave it up a little bit, and then you're gonna put the spring in there and then shut the thing down. That's basically what you're gonna do. So, got the spring. I'm gonna put it in at an angle, like it said. So we're at an angle, can you see? Yep. And then I'm gonna put the spring in and then uh, shut the thing down. Okay. It did say in the directions you might need to have something to push it. 
which we do have a uh, I should have left that punch out that's what I should have did got it right here so bring it back you don't want to bind this spring up either There we go. All right, so it's in there, okay? I'll just leave that out just in case. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna check the safety. Let me zoom you out. Okay, I'm actually gonna check the safety. So fire, reset, safety, okay. Okay. All right, so we're all good. Got that in there. Put this back on. Now, let's, uh, which one am I going to do? I think it's this one that actually goes on there. Yeah. So now I'm actually going to try and do the, uh, the pistol grip screw, which is this one. And like I told you before, it's kind of at an angle down in there. It's not straightforward. So I'm gonna drop it in there. And people said you could do uh, two things. You could either get a, like one of those um, Allen keys that has a little bobble head on it. And you can try and do that. Or you can get a small Allen key and sit here forever and uh, uh, turn, it, turn it over and over and over and over again. So I am just using a, a straight up Allen key and it's going in okay, right? It looks like it's going in okay. We are at an angle, as you can see. We are definitely at an angle. I'm sorry that you guys weren't really able to see what I did, but basically I just took the screw, dropped it in here and it's at literally that angle and I'm trying to screw it in. I'm hoping I'm not jacking up anything, but it feels fine. Okay, got that tied in. And uh, let me see if I can go ahead and get you in here and maybe take a look at it. See what I'm what I'm seeing. I'm gonna go and get my hand in your way real quick. And basically that's what we're looking at. It's at an angle. It looks up and down to you, but it's not. It's at an angle. Okay, I'm gonna tighten that back up. Bring you back a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and pop the cover on to the grip. I don't know if this is directional or not, but it went on like that. Now we're gonna put the QD slots in each side. I don't think it really matters which side it's in. So I'm just gonna put them in. It doesn't look like it matters. I have uh, this right here. So let me get Allen keys out. Let me see. It's probably this one right here. You know what? It's probably, it's probably metric really because, uh, it is German. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just screw this in to the other side. Okay, I'm just gonna screw it in hand tight for now because it is metric and these are standard. So there's that. So it was just literally one screw that went in that side and it screwed into the other uh, QD on the opposite side, obviously. So take this off and then now we got that side and this side. I mean, feeling it, it does, it does feel really good just with the 15, uh, 15 millimeter spacer, but I do wish that it had 
uh, a 30 or maybe just another 15. So if I could get a, just a 30, maybe just put that in there or put the 15 and a 30. I don't know. It looks good though. It looks all right. I could definitely see the appeal. Like if somebody were to put this on a, uh, uh, on a, uh, longer rifle to try and uh, get a more comfortable feel with the thumb hole ability. See, if you have the California compliant one, then it will have this all, uh, all, um, covered up. I don't obviously, but I'm in Washington. It's almost like California now with the assault weapons ban. But so there's that. We got that done. So now we're going to put the upper back on and we're going to start working on the, uh, uh, vertical grip so you know what i'm going to do actually this this video is already pretty long so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this video and i'm going to make another one just specifically for the uh, front grip so i hope you enjoyed that and uh that's all i got for you guys so see you later